Hey, what's up everybody? It's KB here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys a free and open source antivirus called ClamWin. Yes, you heard it right, free and open source. This antivirus is actually using a Clam AV antivirus engine, which is also a free and open source antivirus engine and also a antivirus itself if you go to the download section you can get this for windows linux and mac if you're a windows user just use clam win because it provides you the graphical user interface which makes using this antivirus very easy but if you're on linux or mac you're gonna have to use the terminal and good luck with that i'm not saying that terminal is bad but GUI is just better. A few clicks and you're done. You don't have to type anything like you do in terminal. Now, this antivirus is as simple as it gets and it's lightweight. It doesn't uh, eat up your RAM and CPU, whatever. You know the other antiviruses. They are heavy, always running in background. Even the Windows Defender is always running in the background, which is actually a good thing. We will talk about this why as we go through this video. But first, let's just talk about the Clam Wins. You have a couple of options here. You can go to Preferences. Here, you can you know do some settings for your antivirus. You can update the antivirus database, easy peasy, and you can scan for viruses and stuff in your computer just like that or you can actually scan a specific file folder or document whatever you have by right clicking and select scan with clam win free antivirus just like that and it will scan for viruses and stuff on that selected file or folder easy peasy or you can select a hard disk you know, on your computer uh, by just clicking on them if you double click you can actually expand it and you can select a specific folder or file from here or you can just scan a entire disk select that and scan it will scan entire disk for viruses so yeah it's like really simple and easy to use antivirus the only downside with this antivirus is that it is not as popular as the other antiviruses which might make you feel like it's not a good antivirus plus it doesn't have the real-time virus protection so for example windows security aka windows defender you can see it has the real-time protection turned on which means the antivirus will always run in background and you know protect your pc live online let's say you download a file or you know you got the new file in your computer it will detect all those files if you get any viruses with those files it will detect live in real time so that's what the real time protection is so that's the thing the clam win doesn't have which might make this antivirus like totally useless believe it or not there are people who doesn't even use antivirus they also disable the uh, windows defender completely and they use offline antiviruses or not real-time running antiviruses <laughs> i don't know if that's the way to say it for example the clam win it, it's not running in the background all all the time you can use this when you need it and there are other antiviruses too like malware bytes antivirus malware bytes adware a removal something like that these type of antiviruses are like the lightweight antiviruses plus you know if you know how to use internet if you know what you're downloading you don't actually need a antivirus but still if you go online and download stuffs from the internet a lot in that case you need a antivirus all right so as you know i make videos on the softwares tutorials and whatnot i download many softwares so i actually need a antivirus so i don't use third-party antiviruses but i just use the windows defender i don't have it disabled because it does pretty good job uh, at you know detecting the viruses and stuff so yeah that's that i mean if you're looking for a absolutely free antivirus an open source antivirus this is the best one and i think this is the one and only the most popular free and open source antivirus 
yeah you can go for it yeah that's it i'm not going to talk too much but if you have something to say you can always do the comment if you have any suggestions you can also put your suggestions in the comments yeah there we can have some chit chat yeah that's it hope you enjoyed it i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye